Hey guys, um, I'm going to do a video about SPL competitions and how to get really, really loud because I've gotten a couple messages and a couple comments on my channel about uh, people I want to compete. How's this setup sound? How's that setup sound? Um, for, if you're going to compete SPL, the first thing is how much do you want to spend? Because you can spend a couple hundred and you can spend a couple hundred grand. And no, I'm not exaggerating. You during some of these ridiculous setups in like a van with eight fifteens or something and a hundred thousand watts of power. I mean, we're talking some ridiculous for bur burps of power and they're hitting, you know, high 170s. And it's, it's insane. But um, let, let's just stay pretty typical. Let's say, you know, you've got a 1,000 RMS amp and you're going to run 115-inch sub which is pretty realistic for everybody, you know. It'll, it'll take a little bit of money, but, you know, it's not completely unrealistic. You want to get as loud as you can. First of all, you got to decide if you want your car to be a, a daily driver where you can play the bass to music or if it's just going to be SPL purpose-built, okay? Because if you buy a strictly an SPL sub and you build an enclosure, get extremely loud, it'll sound terrible playing music. And, um... And the reason for that is one, your enclosure, you're gonna want to, you know, build it to peak at a certain frequency. Um, a good, a sound quality subwoofer enclosure will have a little frequency response like this. It'll just kind of, kind of just go up a little bit and then down. You know, 30 hertz will be lower, might peak around 40, and then it'll kind of come back down once you get to maybe 60 hertz. An SPL enclosure will have very peaky peak, basically. If that's a professional term. Um, you want to try to get your peak frequency to be the resonant frequency of your vehicle. And that there's a way to measure the resonant frequency of the vehicle. I do not know the method, but I know that it can be done. Um, roughly, though, a, a mid-size car will have resonant frequency of r roughly 65 cycles. Smaller car will be a little higher, and a van will be a little lower. And I got this information off of the CDT audio website. So um, let's say you're just driving like a mid-sized car. I drive a Ford Taurus. So you want to build an enclosure that is um, yeah, maybe tuned to, say, 60 cycles maybe, or maybe 55 to try to get you a peak that's a little bit above the tuning frequency. There are programs that can be bought or downloaded to help you design your enclosure because that, that's really where the volume comes from. You know, a lot, a lot of people spend way too much time deciding which woofer they're going to buy and then the enclosure is an afterthought. You have to first figure out what subwoofer you're, you know, you're going to get and then once you get that you have to spend a lot of time designing the enclosure because the enclosure will make or break the sub. Um, let's say you're going for strictly SPL. You want to get a SPL woofer. And there's some woofers that you can't play music with them. They, they're strictly for SPL. Um, well, woofers I'd recommend um, for a thousand watts, uh, a Phi Audio BL, something I had, would be very good with the certain options for SPL. It would be a very good woofer. Um, Audio Q makes good woofers. A Kicker L7 will get pretty loud, too. There are many different options that I'm not mentioning that are good for SPL with 1,000 watts. If you're running multiple woofers, um, of course, your options go up then. Um, if you message me, I'll be able to think of more. But right now, um, I like to recommend Phi Audio and AudioQ because they're great subs at a very reasonable price. Um, now, let's talk about getting loud. If you're going to compete... In SPL, you won't use a sealed enclosure. They just don't get as loud. They sound great, but they don't get as loud. Most people will go with a well-designed ported enclosure. One, because it's reasonably easy to make and you can get good output out of it. Now, there are enclosures that will get louder than your basic ported box, and these are different kinds of bandpass enclosures. Um, your basic bandpass enclosure is um, basically seal, takes your woofer, and it's like a sealed enclosure on one side, and then it's ported on the other side. It would be great if I had like a diagram or something. There's also enclosures called sixth and eighth order bandpass boxes, and these will get extremely loud at the desired frequency, but they are also extremely difficult to build. And if built improperly, you can 
if let's say you play your woofer below the tuning frequency, the woofer can fry itself because it'll be unloading below the frequency and it'll be like it's just doing free air and not really in an enclosure. So if you're going to build a sixth or an eighth order bandpass box, you need to know what the hell you're doing. And it's something I would not attempt because I don't have the skills nor the desire. But if you do it right, you can crank out some numbers that are very, very impressive. Um, if you're going to do an SPL system, the first thing you want to think it out, you know, put a lot of thought into it before you just go buy equipment, do as much research as you can. This video, think of it as an introduction because I'm not an SPL competition expert. There are some people who know much more about this topic than I do. I'm just offering you my the basic information to get into it. Um, also, spend some time making sure that the power system in your car can deliver the current, okay? Um, having a high output alternator and good cables under the hood and a good battery will help you. Because the last thing you want to do is have an amp trying to get really loud that draws current. And because your alternator and your cables suck, you just don't have the current. The sub doesn't move right and your number goes down. You're, you're in the finals or something. All right. Um... Again, I, I'm, I'm going to recommend a couple of forums that I frequent that are very, um, the, you know, you can learn a lot from. Uh, one is caraudioforum.com. There are a couple of guys on there that know a lot about SPL competitions. Um, that's the one I frequent the most. There's other good forums like just caraudio.com. There's the um, do-it-yourself mobile audio site. And if you like looking at pictures, I recommend fiberglassforums.com because those installs are just badass. Anyway, that's about it for SPL. Get loud. Stupid loud. Freakishly, ridiculously, earth-shakingly loud. And then go deaf. Yeah. <laughs>